does that mean? That means that um, I'm not going to look at myself on the video. So let's just get rid of that right now so that I don't sit there and look at myself. Okay, so um, what I done today, which means that I'm going to be showing you how I did it on my other eye. Um, I've been looking for a long time. Not that long because I just got it. <laughs> but, you know, I looked at getting the um, MAC Shimmermint. I, I think I showed it in a haul. And now I am going to check that you can actually see that properly. Yep. That's the Shimmermint. Okay. And um, I've been experimenting with how to wear it without looking like I'm my mother's. 1970s all over green, light green eyeshadow look, you know? Um, so I think this looks pretty good. I sort of built it um, based on Tanya Burr's um, Breaking Dawn Wedding makeup tutorial for Kristen Stewart's Bella Swan's makeup during the wedding. I sort of built it from that, although, you know, it's not a dupe or a copy or anything like that. Um, as you all know, I have this lovely hooded eye, so I can't put the shimmerment too high up where I look like glowing, like I have a glowing bulbous hood. <laughs> um, so um, I've come up with this, and I think it looks really pretty. I think it looks really, um, I think it looks really holiday-ish, um, and I can't really see what it looks like when I have a closed eye. So. Okay, so I thought I would um, sort of share with you how I did it. Um, first of all, what I'm wearing on my skin, I've already put on um, Makeup Forever's um, HD High Definition Primer in green to help with my redness. I'm not really actually sure it does anything with the redness. Um, I then have um, Dior Skin Forever. Um, in number 23, which is peach. There you go. Um, and I buffed that in with my Sigma um, F84. I always forget what number it is, even though it's like my favorite brush ever. Focus. Be nice. The F84, which is the um, Angle Kabuki. It's really good for buffing in... Um, Foundation. I really, really love it. And on my cheeks, I have NARS Deep Throat. There you go. Which is this beautiful blush color. I really like it. It goes with a lot of stuff. It goes with like pinks and sort of browns and blues. And yeah, I really just really like it. So that's what I have on. So let's start doing my eye. Okay, so before I have to go to the school pickup line. All over my hood, I am wearing Max Nuba paint pot. And I really just put that on with my fingertips. Um, it really just about matches my skin tone exactly. I can barely tell that it is all over my eye when I'm done, but it has a lovely creamy texture. It um, goes on really easily. Eyeshadow stays on better. Um, although, for the I think I would like another primer underneath. And I will show you why in a second. So, oh, on my nails. Haha, <laughs> isn't that beautiful? That is um, OPI's um, Changing of the Garnet, which is part of the Europe collection from 2002. It's discontinued, but I did find it on eBay. So, okay. So I put that on, and then I grabbed my Shimmer Mint. So it's in the Glitter and Ice Holiday Collection from MAC. Um, and it is really, really shimmering. And the thing is that the, um, the glitter falls. And I don't know what you girls do. I've seen some people who use like some cell tape where they don't want product. Um, and I am seriously considering that option myself. Okay, let's switch mics here because that probably hasn't been sounding very delightful. One moment. Okay.
Okay, hopefully that's sounding a little bit better for you now. I didn't have my um, USB mic plugged in. It was just a bit your webcam mic, so I hope that didn't sound absolutely horrendous. Okay, so um, what I've done is, you know, I if you've seen any of my videos on my eyes before, I have this delightful hood that comes, and I have a very tiny, tiny, tiny part of my eye that actually covers the my eyeball part. You can sort of see that part from here to here. A lot of girls have like a huge part that goes over their eyeball, not me. Okay, so um, I have to put the shimmerman on the part that goes over my actual eyeball right below where my hood is. So I do that and I put it a little bit into the crease here. I mean the corner and a bit out and just like that. You can put it pretty thickly. This can go on pretty thick. But if you see like the sparkles are dropping down here, I don't know what other people do with that. Um, I really don't. Um, any tips would be appreciated. I think, I suspect maybe I just need better primer um, on my eye to sort of um, stop it from falling down. Okay, and then I looked for ages and ages and ages, like a whole week, I'm sure, <laughs> for a really dark, dark green that would blend nicely um, with the shimmer mint. And I have a thing for um, NARS eyeshadows. They have like lovely pigmentation. They go on incredibly easily. I love them. This is called Night Porter. There you go, Night Porter by NARS. What I do is I use a angled um, brush, angled liner brush. This is by Sephora Professional, this one right here. So it's a really thin, nice angled liner brush. And I take it from the middle of my pupil, and that's from the Tanya Burr video, and line it all along my lash line out to the corner of my eye. There. And what I'm learning is like, less is more. You can always put more eyeshadow on, but it's really, really hard to take off. So then I take this angled Sigma's uh, small tapered blend blending brush. Come on. Sigma brushes don't want to focus properly, but it's a small tapered blending, which is number E45. There you go. Okay, and then um, I blend that up from that lash from that lash line, really, really carefully, because you I really don't want to use big sweeping movements because I have this teeny teeny tiny area to work with on my hooded eye I don't want to accidentally get it further up than what I'm willing to deal with so I'm just going in little circle motions up into my crease and I'm actually pushing it quite hard up into my crease I'm blending it a little bit of a windshield wiper motion here, but not aggressively so that I don't um, you know, get it further than what I was intending because I find that that's incredibly easy to do, to get it further up than you were intending. And then you open your eyes and you have like green all the way up to here. And I don't like that. And I just blend, 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 blend this. See how that night porter just has really, really blended really, really nicely with um, the shimmer mint, I think anyway. And then if you want, you know, I don't know, like I think that's fine in, my, in the corners of my eye. I think that's um, just about perfect. Um, but if you want, you know, more shimmer on your eye, you can reapply the shimmer mint on over it again, like and blend it in. Um, blend it in again there. 
So, okay, that's my eyeshadow, really. And then, um, I ha used to have an aversion to liner pencils. This is a totally an exception. This is the Eye Coal by MAC. Do, do, do. Eye Coal, come on. In tarnish. So it's Eye Coal, which is a crayon coal. It goes on so lusciously and so easily. It almost feels like um, a liquid liner in the way that it applies. Um, it's just so soft. The color goes on really easily. I don't have to push my eyelid at all, really. Maybe just a tiny bit, but not, not you know, a lot. Sorry, my eyes are getting red. This light is really good for filming, but not so good for actually seeing with. I hope it's good for filming. So that's that. And then what I did in my, underneath my eye is I took what was left on my angled liner brush and I just pushed it just slightly here. Just slightly, just to sort of group the bottom and the top together. I have to be really careful that I don't put too much, um, too much color underneath my eye because then um, it just brings out lines and stuff really easily. I feel like I did a much better eye job on my right eye than my left eye, which is always the case. And then, oh, I can't believe I didn't put this in my favorites for November. This is the Tarte Emphasize, which is an eye brightener, and it goes on your inner waterline, your lower waterline, and it just brightens up your eye, like, a lot, to put it there. Um, and then, to finish off, wait, no, two things for the eyes. I love, 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 I have a lot of highlighters, but the one I like the best for my brow bone is the Beauty Express for Brows and Eyes by Anastasia Highlighting Powder. Um, this one here, the one you can see I've used a lot. Um, and I put that just up on my brow bone. And it just brightens the eye even more, I think. Um, and then today I have on their real mascara by, by Benefit. Um, it only comes in black. As you'll know, I bemoan that fact all the time. I would have loved today to have um, one that had like a sea black sort of tint to it. Um, I think the Shocking by YSL comes in like one that has more of a green tint to it as well, kind of like the Tarnish eyeliner I used. Um, and I would have loved to have used that today. I love having just um, a color-based black on my eyelashes. I feel like, unless I'm wearing like really dramatic eyes, that works really well. And, gosh, it just defines my lashes so nicely. Once again, didn't curl. Oops, bad girl. And <laughs> then, luckily, it's 2.05. I have to be at school in 10 minutes. Um, I have already applied Jouer's um, Lip Enhancer on my lips before putting on my, on my makeup. This is Dior Addicts. Um, Dior Addict Lip stick in 750, which is Rockstar, 750, Rockstar, so moisturizing, I love this, I really need to do a comparison between this and the Rouge Coco Shine at some point, another promise for me, hmm. yeah, okay, that's my Shimmer Mint Eye, um, See if I can get this out of my hair without like killing myself. I really like it. Um, I would use this if I was going out. I think it's a really f festive holiday eye. 
Um, I really like it. I hope that helped you find some ideas for how to use your shimmer mitt. Um, and let me know if you have any tips for how I can do a better job with not dropping stuff. And um, if you have any concealer suggestions, as you can see, I have massive dark circles. I have used, and I forgot to say this, I have used um, Chanel's little um, highlighting thing in the C around the corners of my eyes. But I really, I really feel like that I have some really issues with dark circles, more like bags that become dark circles. There we go. <laughs> All right. Um, hope you had fun. Talk to you soon. Bye.